This video will show the commonly employed techniques for using Zypex materials to permanently repair leaking cracks in concrete. With Zypex technology, cracks may be repaired while they are dry or actively leaking, with slightly different processes required for each. This video will discuss both. The first step is to inspect the concrete and mark where specific repairs are to be made. It is often best to inspect while leaking is taking place to be sure to find and mark all active leak locations. Mark areas of cracks that are actively leaking. Non-leaking cracks may also be repaired as required by project specifications and conditions. After marking all cracks, chip or cut a U-shaped slot approximately 1 inch or 25 millimeters wide by 1.5 inches or 37 millimeters deep centered over the crack. A chisel bit is best to achieve the desired shape of the slot. If the slot is to be saw cut and then chipped, angle the blade to ensure that the slot has a slight dovetail shape to allow a mechanical interlock between the material that will fill the slot and the substrate concrete. The slot normally needs to extend 12 to 18 inches or 300 to 450 millimeters past where water leakage is evident. Pressure wash the chipped out areas to 6 inches or 150 millimeters beyond the area of excavation to remove any paint, contaminants or loose concrete. The concrete surface to be treated must have an open capillary system to provide tooth and suction for the Zypex treatment. A concrete surface profile of 3 or CSP3 per International Concrete Repair Institute guidelines and surface profile chips is recommended. A pressure washer of sufficient power is often suitable for obtaining the necessary surface profile, but sand, grit or shot blasting or coarse disc grinding followed by pressure washing may also provide the necessary surface. Allow the surface water to drain away and soak in or evaporate from the wetted concrete. Mist the work area as required with water to maintain the slot and prepared areas in a saturated surface dry or SSD condition. An SSD condition is concrete that will absorb no more water but has no glistening water on its surface. For cracks that are actively leaking, including a crack that has any moisture present, the first step is to stop any active water flow from the crack. This is done by filling the bottom half of the prepared slot with Zypex patch and plug to stop all active water flow. Zypex patch and plug is mixed 3 to 3.5 parts powder to 1 part water and stiffens or sets in approximately 2.5 minutes. The lower the water content of the blend, the more rapidly the mortar will set. A more rapid set is normally required to shut down or stop high water flows. The slot is filled by starting where there is the least water flow and working to the area of highest water flow. In areas of high volume of water or high pressure flows, the slot may need to be chipped deeper, typically 2 to 2.5 inches or 50 to 62 millimeters to allow a thicker plug of Zypex patch and plug to be installed. Additionally, at the point of highest water flow, a pressure relief tube may need to be installed. This is done by chipping deeper into the slot, 3 to 4 inches or 75 to 100 millimeters at the point of highest water flow and using Zypex patch and plug to secure in place an appropriately sized tube. This tube allows the water to flow out of the leaking joint while installing patch and plug up to the pressure relief point. Here's a tip. Using a wet-dry vacuum connected to the pressure relief tube normally helps further by actively drawing water to the pressure relief point and away from the rest of the slot where Zypex patch and plug is to be installed. After water has been fully stopped in the chipped slot, the tube can be removed. Fill the hole that is left by pushing a ball of nearly set patch and plug into the void to stop remaining water flow. Once all active water flow has been stopped, the crack or slot is treated the same way as a crack or slot with no active water flow.
bring the repair area to an SSD condition. Mix up Zypex concentrate, five parts powder, add it to two parts water in a pail, and mix for several minutes until no lumps remain, thus creating a slurry consistency. Apply a slurry coat of Zypex concentrate into the slot and to 6 inches or 150 millimeters on either side of the slot. Slots where Zypex patch and plug has been installed to stop all water flow are treated the same. A synthetic bristle mason's brush is best for this. Work the slurry into the surface of this Zypex patch and plug and or concrete with the brush. The slurry may be applied for up to 20 minutes after mixing. If the slurry stiffens in the pail prior to the 20 minute pot life limit, do not add more water, just remix to bring it back to a slurry consistency. While the Zypex concentrate slurry is still tacky, fill the remainder of the slot with Zypex concentrate mixed into a dry pack form. A dry pack mix consists of six parts Zypex powder to one part water. The mixed material will normally show small balls of clump powder. This blend may be used for up to 20 minutes after mixing. The dry pack blend is placed firmly into the slot and compacted into place with a block and hammer. Additional dry pack consistency Zypex concentrate is compressed into the slot until the slot is filled to the surface. The dry pack filled slot is smoothed and leveled to align with the concrete surface. Note that in place of a dry pack mix of Zypex concentrate, a blend of three parts Zypex concentrate to one part patch and plug mixed to a mortar consistency may be used. Other powder blend ratios are also acceptable. Information on Zypex powder blends that may be made into a mortar is available on the Zypex website. The slot is filled to the surface, working and compacting the mortar blend into the slot using a gloved hand and trowel. The surface of the mortar filled slot is smoothed and leveled to align with the surface of the concrete. The blend will set similarly to Zypex patch and plug but can be brought back to a mortar consistency for up to 20 minutes after mixing by working the material in a gloved hand. Mist the surface of the repair to moisten the dry pack or Zypex concentrate patch and plug blend mortar and the Zypex concentrate slurry coat on either side of the filled slot. Apply a final coat of Zypex concentrate slurry over the filled slot and to 6 inches or 150 millimeters on either side. Cure the repairs by keeping them moist for 2 to 3 days. Open the repairs to water contact per Zypex guidelines. The processes described here have proven successful in over 90 countries around the world for permanent repair of leaking concrete structures. Additional information may be found in Zypex method statements and product data sheets available at www.zypex.com.